The city stretched in solemn silence under a grayish sky, heavy clouds hovering like silent witnesses to the unfolding morning. In the cemetery, among tombstones marked by time, a group of residents dressed in black gathered to bid farewell to Maria, whose presence had been a ray of light in that community. Faithful, a stray dog with expressive eyes, roamed among the attendees, capturing the sadness in the air with his silent loyalty. Father Miguel, a somber figure in black robes, led the ceremony with words of comfort, but his demeanor carried a weight that surpassed words of solace. The murmur of the wind echoed among the cypresses, creating a melancholic atmosphere as the city bid farewell to one of its own souls. As Faithful circled among people, his gaze fixed on Maria's coffin, something unsettling hung in the air. Residents exchanged worried glances, whispered among themselves, but no one dared to break the silence that accompanied the funeral ritual. Suddenly, Faithful, normally calm and reserved, erupted into an unusual agitation. His eyes, filled with sadness, fixed on the coffin as if something inside it called to him. The dog began to bark, first low and hesitant, then in a frenetic cadence that shattered the serenity of the moment. Father, something is wrong with Faithful, whispered an elderly lady clutching the priest's arm. Don't worry, Mrs. Mendez. Loss affects everyone in different ways, Father replied with a forced smile, but his eyes betrayed unease. As the crowd's murmurs grew, an outsider named Carlos, drawn by the frenzied barking, observed the scene intrigued. His keen eyes captured the tension in the air, and he set out to discover what was causing such agitation in Faithful. The beginning of the mystery cast its shadow over the city, a shadow threatening to reveal buried truths in Maria's past. The cemetery fell silent. Murmurs ceased as curious looks turned to Faithful. The dog, now in front of Maria's coffin, continued barking as if trying to communicate something beyond human understanding. Carlos, the intrigued outsider, approached, his eyes fixed on the agitated dog. Why the hell is this dog barking like that? Carlos whispered to no one in particular. It's a sign, I tell you, replied Mrs. Mendez, an elderly woman with eyes full of superstition. Animals have a sixth sense for these things. We must pay attention. As the whispering voices intensified, Father Miguel tried in vain to calm Faithful, his hands attempting to contain the dog's agitation. But Faithful was determined, his eyes fixed on the coffin as if searching for something hidden in the shadows. Father, what's happening here? Carlos inquired, looking at the priest with a suspicious expression. Don't worry, my son. Loss affects everyone in strange ways. This is just a faithful friend mourning his owner's departure, Father replied, with a serenity that convinced no one. The tension in the air was palpable, as if the cemetery itself was waiting for something unfolding before the attentive eyes of the residents. Faithful, ignoring efforts to silence him, barked louder, as if defying fate. Carlos, feeling that something was deeply wrong, decided it was time to investigate further. His steps led him toward the coffin, where Faithful, with eyes full of sadness, continued his lament. The mystery was only beginning to unfold, and each bark of Faithful was an echo laden with promises of obscure revelations. The cemetery echoed with Fields' frenzied barks, each sound a dissonant note amid the silence of farewell. Father Miguel, now visibly uncomfortable, tried in vain to restrain the dog, but Fields' agitation persisted, as if he were the only one aware of something obscure unfolding. Father, what's wrong with this dog? It seems like he's trying to tell us something. Carlos interjected, his eyes fixed on the priest. The priest, looking around to ensure no one was listening, whispered with thinly veiled urgency, This dog is disturbing something that should remain buried, something we all tried to forget. As residents watched with curious looks, Feel redoubled his efforts to get closer to the coffin. His barks echoed like a silent accusation, poking at the consciences of those present. 
But what is he trying to tell us? Carlos asked, his expression a mix of bewilderment and determination. Father Miguel, now with his eyes fixed on the agitated dog, hesitated before responding. There are secrets in this place that shouldn't be revealed, things that should remain buried. Tension mounted, creating a trail of suspense as residents wondered what the priest was trying to conceal. Mrs. Mendez, with her sharp intuition, muttered to herself, Feel is the messenger of truths we'd rather forget. Ignoring pleas to calm down, Feel continued to bark at the coffin, as if challenging not only the living, but something beyond. The mystery of Maria's burial was about to unravel, and Feel's incessant barks were the disturbing soundtrack of this dark unfolding. The cemetery became the stage for an imminent revelation, and each bark was an echo resonating with the weight of hidden truths. While the cemetery still echoed with Feel's restless barks, Carlos felt a growing urgency to unravel the hidden mysteries hovering over Maria's burial. His determined steps led him to the small community where whispered conversations and furtive glances suggested that something deeper was buried in Maria's history. Carlos approached the residents, each question revealing fragments of an intricate narrative. Mrs. Mendez, the oldest in the town, shared veiled memories, her words laden with mystery. For years, Maria carried a heavy burden. There was more to her life than the smiles she showed to the town. Things people preferred to forget, she said, her eyes full of ancient memories. Carlos continued his investigations, revelations emerging like shadows of the truth. Complicated relationships, obscure connections, and a past everyone tried to bury along with Maria. Conversations with other residents, each revealing pieces of the puzzle, painted a more complex picture of the deceased's life. In a dark and dusty room on the outskirts of town, Carlos discovered old records, yellowed letters, and faded photographs. Each artifact told a part of the story that Father Miguel tried to hide. Driven by relentless curiosity, Carlos connected the dots between Maria, the priest, and past events. The night advanced, but Carlos's determination was unwavering. He found that Maria, despite her friendly image, was tied to secrets that stretched through the corridors of time. Feel's bark seemed to resonate in Carlos's mind, propelling him to reveal truths that had remained obscure for too long. By dawn, Carlos realized that the town harbored deep emotional scars, and Maria carried a burden that transcended death. The investigation was just beginning, but each discovery was an essential piece to understand the enigma surrounding the woman everyone thought they knew. The town's past was about to be unveiled, and Carlos was determined to uncover the secrets that connected Maria Feel and the mysterious Father Miguel. The city, shrouded in the dimness of the morning, saw Carlos emerge from a night of investigations. Mariah's secrets now unveiled. The inhabitants, still under the morning that lingered over the city, watched with curious and apprehensive looks as Carlos confronted Father Miguel in front of the church. Father, your secrets will no longer remain buried. I know what's behind Fields barks, the town's whispers, and the shadow looming over this place, proclaimed Carlos, his voice echoing through the ancient church walls. The priest, pale-faced and guilt-ridden eyes, tried to maintain a facade of serenity, but the mask was starting to crumble. You don't understand, my son. Some truths are better left in the past. They shouldn't be unearthed. Feel, the faithful friend, stood by Carlos, staring at the priest as if he knew that the moment of truth had come. The city fell silent, as if awaiting the outcome of a drama that was about to unfold. Maria! She's not in the coffin, is she? Accused Carlos, his expression defiant. Father Miguel lowered his head, unable to meet Carlos's sharp gaze. I had no choice. She made mistakes the town couldn't forgive. This was the only way to maintain peace. The priest's words echoed through the church courtyard, each syllable a confession of buried sins. Feel, upon hearing the truth, 
let out a melancholic howl, as if lamenting his owner's betrayal. Armed with revelations like a sword, Carlos confronted the priest with unwavering determination. You chose silence, Father, but the town deserves the truth. What else are you hiding? The city was immersed in suspense, the breeze whispering the revealed secrets. The showdown between Carlos and Father Miguel was not just a battle between two men, but a clash between the past and the present, between concealed truths and inevitable revelations. While the residents absorbed Father Miguel's confession, the city was enveloped in an aura of discomfort. Feel, the faithful friend, remained by Carlos's side, as if witnessing not only the revelation of a secret but the beginning of an irreversible change in the apparent tranquility of the small community. The suspense reached its peak, and the next pages of the city's chapter promised to be full of unexpected developments. The setting sun tinted the sky with orange hues, casting a golden light over the city, now permeated by the echo of revealed truths. Carlos, still carrying the tension of the confrontation on his shoulders, felt the responsibility to unravel the rest of the unfolding mystery. Feel stood by Carlos, a loyal spectator of the events that shook the city. His eyes, though expressive, seemed to carry a melancholy, as if he shared the pain of the unearthed secrets. The news of Father Miguel's revelation spread like wildfire. Residents, torn between disbelief and shock, gathered in groups, whispering and exchanging meaningful glances. The church, once a place of solace, was now the stage for a complex plot of betrayal and buried secrets. Driven by the need to clarify all pieces of the puzzle, Carlos met with Feel at the church entrance. There is still more for us to uncover, my friend. This town hides more secrets than we can imagine. Feel, with his penetrating eyes, seemed to agree. Together, they decided to investigate why Maria was forced to leave and where she was now. Each clue unearthed was an attempt to understand what had led to this situation, and the fate of the city hung over their heads like a Damocles sword. As the night fell, the city found itself in a state of transition. Candlelights began to flicker in the houses, but now they would burn under the shadow of an unearthed truth. Carlos and Feel, united by the purpose of revealing the complete story, delved deeper into the dark plot unfolding. The residents, still perplexed, watched the duo head into the unknown. Each step was a progress in the complicated narrative. Each discovery brought the city closer to the closure of a tumultuous chapter. Feel, now guiding Carlos through the dark paths of the city, seemed to have embraced his late owner's mission. His barks, once lamenting, now took on a tone of determination, as if he were leading Carlos toward the climax of the story that was yet to unfold. The city, under the night's shadow, remained in suspense, awaiting the next chapters of the drama that began with a faithful friend and the hidden secrets in the shadows of the church. The city was now immersed in the stillness of the night, a silence laden with reflection and uncertainty. Guided by Feel's determined barks, Carlos continued his quest for the hidden secrets folded within Maria's past. The dim light of candles in the houses cast dancing shadows on the deserted streets. Residents, still perplexed by the recent revelations, watched from their windows, each shadow and murmur adding to the atmosphere of mystery enveloping the city. Carlos, with Feel by his side, found a winding path that led them to the place where Maria had been buried. A solitary tombstone marked the spot, but the coffin that should have contained her body remained empty. Feel, looking at the grave with sadness, seemed to understand the depth of the untold story. Where is Maria, Feel? What really happened? whispered Carlos, as if the night itself could reveal the secrets kept in the shadows. The dog, in turn, barked softly, as if wanting to tell a story only he knew. Carlos, with a flashlight illuminating the ground, discovered a hidden compartment beneath the tomb. There, an old diary belonging to Maria was revealed, containing pages filled with her confessions and silenced pains. Sitting beside the grave, Carlos flipped through the yellowed pages, 
unraveling the challenges and sacrifices Maria faced to protect her true identity. The city, which had judged Maria for imaginary mistakes, now witnessed her complete story. Feel, alongside Carlos, mourned the loss of his owner, but also celebrated the liberation of the truth she so eagerly wanted to share. Residents from afar sensed a change in the atmosphere, as if the silence of the night transformed into a collective sigh of understanding. With the diary in hand, Carlos shared the revelations with the city, unveiling the details of the past that Maria had kept hidden. The city, now illuminated by the light of truth, faced a new dawn guided by understanding and forgiveness. Feel, the faithful friend who had been a witness and guardian, could now rest in peace beside the empty grave. Carlos, closing the diary, felt the weight of the responsibility of unearthing such a complex story, but also recognized the power of truth to heal old wounds. The chapter of the city, full of drama, suspense, and twists, reached its epilogue. The post-revelation silence hung over the streets, but now it carried the promise of a new beginning. The city, marked by the events of the past, now had the opportunity to build a future based on understanding, acceptance, and overcoming.